today about some of the functions and features of a progressive hospital bed that make it stand out from the other hospital beds in the home care market. So, if you want to come over here really quick, what I'll show you is why this pulmonary hospital bed, as you can see here, Kevin, if you want to move your legs, this is our pulmonary surface for the progressive hospital. So what this means is it's great for people with uh, chronic pneumonia or any other pulmonary complications that may arise from being bed bound. So there's a couple of different things that you can see here on this touch pad. If we go into the pulmonary functions of the bed, there's two main features that you'd like to see. First is rotation. What this is is continuous lateral rotation therapy, which is lung over lung therapy. Since Kevin is relatively healthy at this time, let's go ahead and choose full to demonstrate the maximum effect of continuous lateral rotation. If we go ahead and start, what you'll notice with Kevin is that the right side of the bed will start inflating, the left side will start deflating. So this is a pretty gradual process right now because we want to make sure that the patient still remains fairly comfortable. If you picture Kevin's lungs right now, instead of being completely flat, his right lung is being elevated over his left lung. And here, we're at full inflation, so what this does is it mobilizes secretions and fluids and allows that to be transferred back into the Now what this bed will do is it will hold him here for a certain amount of time, it will then go back flat, and then tilt him to his right side. And that will complete one continuous turn. Again, this is great for people with chronic pneumonia or any bouts of respiratory distress that you can think of. So Kevin, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to go ahead, stop these therapies, And we're gonna go ahead and go to percussion and vibration. So percussion and vibration is a great feature. It's a great clinical innovation for people who have other pulmonary complications as well. If we go into the settings, we'll show high for demonstration. And you can change the intensity, the frequency, and the duration from the menu. As we hit start, You'll notice that the percussion of vibration is starting right where Kevin's lungs are. And what this is doing is shaking and clapping the chest walls to make sure that if Kevin can't cough or if he has any fluids in his lungs, those are being mobilized to go up through his chest and hopefully he can expel those out. Now moving on to one of the next functions of the bed that stands it apart, no pun intended, from the competition is the chair and chair egress feature. So, on this side here. This can all be controlled from the patient pendant, which shows some of the different functions, such as head up, head down, foot up, foot down. We're going to use this chair button right here. So as you'll notice here, the bed will tilt back a little bit to make sure the cabin is staying in place that he's not going to fall out of the foot end of the bed. Raise the head of bed up. And in a minute, it will go ahead and drop the foot section of the bed low. Keep in mind that this entire time, as he's getting up into the chair position, the therapies of the mattress are still working. So you still have your advanced microclimate, and you still have your weight-based pressure redistribution as well. And Kevin, you can probably feel as you start sitting up like that, the seat section is going to start immersing and enveloping you a little bit better as well. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go ahead, continue this until it beeps. And the great thing about this bed is that any caregiver can use it. Go ahead, remove the footboard. 
The wonderful thing about the flipboard is you can literally just stand it up here. There's no propping it up against anything. It can stand on its own. And we'll continue with the chair you press. So right here, you'll notice that he's in a full chair position. His back is elevated about 70 degrees. His feet are dropped down, probably about the same. And Kevin, are you pretty comfortable right now? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yep. So we'll go ahead, we'll continue. And the great thing about the progressive bed is you can actually egress out of the front of it. And the way that I explain why it's so important to be able to egress out of the front is that so many times whenever patients get up for the first time, they become lightheaded, it's very easy to fall back. Whenever you do that, you fall back, and there's a wonderful surface right here to catch you and break your fall. So many times whenever people transition out of the side, they can fall back and hit their head on the side. So as we continue the egress, it'll start deflating the seat to make sure that he's on the frame to give him a nice, stable support surface to push off of. What we can do is lower the bed down. Looks like it's in its lowest position now. Okay. Okay, so now we'll go ahead, start Kevin out here. Get his feet on the ground. And now what we can do is go ahead and start raising the bed up. And what this will do will actually help boost him out. And the more you raise it up, it actually prevents him from falling back. So as you raise it up more, it'll help him stand. And you can put a walker out here, you can put any stand assist device and get his way back to walking. 